Roots. Nice to finally make your acquaintance. Good work saving the day and attaching the repeater units in Highpool. The General and I thank you. Now I'm guessing you're here to learn more about these mysterious broadcasts that you've been helping us with. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything bad about the General when I'm sitting right next to him, am I? You better not, Woodson. I'll take away your smokes ration. See? But seriously, I think the General has been a wise and cautious leader these past 15 years. Some of the boys may think he keeps it a little too cautious. But they're not the ones who have to feel the calls when good men die. Since we started hearing these strange broadcasts, he decided that the quiet times are over. And his place is here, on the air. Listening to the people of the wastes and sending his troops into battle. Well, we spent the 15 years since we defeated the base coach chief's AI retrenching. Rebuilding the Citadel, rebuilding our numbers, solidifying our position. It made us a stronger organization think. But we also have a smaller footprint now. And some of the places we used to patrol have kind of fallen off the map. Now, though, I think it's time to wake up. The world is changing. These crazy broadcasts, the red scorpions in the old prison, reports of trade routes to the east where we thought there was nothing but radiation. If the rangers still want to be a force for good in the world, and we gotta start stepping out beyond our own backyard. It was the Ranger's greatest enemy. Though really all it was was a malfunctioning machine. The mainframe of a pre-war military facility that somehow got it into its circuit board head that everybody in the world was its enemy. It started pumping out robots to defend itself. And if we hadn't stopped it, those robots could have killed everyone in Arizona. The Red Scorpion Militia. They took over the old prison when we moved out. Not really much more than a raider gang. But they're starting to tell everybody that they're the real law in Arizona. And they're asking people to call them for help instead of us. Maybe they're really trying to shape up. But I doubt it. Sounds more like an old-fashioned shakedown scheme to me. Our old home base. Not bad for what it was, but we've been outgrowing it for decades. When we cleared the previous owners out of this place, we saw an opportunity to make a move. We always thought the radiation east of the prison was just too strong, and that travel that way was impossible. But now the Scorpions are claiming they've established trade with a community beyond the radiation called Damanta, and also with a group calling themselves the Servants of Titan. We're not welcome in Scorpion territory, so we can't check the truth of all of this. But they do seem to be getting better weaponry from somewhere, so maybe it's legit. We don't know where they're coming from, or who's making them. Hell, they could be old pre-war recordings for all we know. But we've been hearing them since the skies started to clear. And they've got a threatening sound to them, so we've been trying to learn more about them. Which is what we sent Ace out to do when that robot murdered him. Now, you've already attached one of our repeater units to the radio tower at Highpool, but because you were unable to do the same at Ag Center, we're in a bit of a bind. See, we intended to make a Watson Watt Adcock antenna array using those two towers, our tower here and the tower where Ace died. Linking those four would have allowed us to pinpoint the origin of the signal. Now, however, we're going to have to try to find the radio tower the General already mentioned to you in DeMonta if it even exists. Well, it's only a theory, but my guess is that the fallout that's been floating around up there in the ionosphere since the war has been muddying things up up there, stopping long-range broadcasts from being reflected back to Earth. Now, maybe the fallout is starting to decay, and the ionosphere is slowly returning to normal, allowing it to reflect radio waves like it used to back in the good old days. Or not. I only know what I read in salvage books. We use the repeater units to boost a weak radio signal out in the field and transmit the data back to the Citadel. And let me tell you, it was hell trying to find enough parts to make the ones we needed. Which is why I'm so glad you were able to find the ones Ace was carrying. I'm so glad you were able to save Highpool. Its reservoir and treatment plant provides water for us and the other communities in the area. 
I'm very sorry you weren't able to save Ag Center. They were doing so much to develop hardier animal and plant stock that would survive out here in the wastes. It's a real blow to have lost them. You sure you want to hear this? Most people's eyes glaze over when I start getting technical. Really? Okay. You asked for it. So with the traditional Watson-Watt method of radio direction finding techniques, it is possible to find the direction from which a radio signal was transmitted using two Adcock antenna pairs to perform an amplitude comparison on the incoming signal. An Adcock antenna pair is a pair of antennas that take the vector difference of the received signal at each antenna so that there is only one output from the pair of antennas. Two of these pairs generate what can be referred to as north-south and east-west signals, which will then be passed to the receiver. In the receiver, the bearing angle can be computed by taking the arc tangent of the radio of the north-south to east-west signal. Given any four antennas of a known distance from each other, this method can establish a very accurate directional vector on an incoming signal. Satisfied? I've been hearing the Red Scorpion's radio chatter about this place for more than a year now. They claim it's somewhere beyond the eastern radiation clouds. I hope they're right. The radio tower that Gilbert says is rumored to be there could be our only hope for tracking down those mysterious broadcasts. All right. Good luck out there. You'll be hearing from us. A tough choice, recruits, with no good outcomes. Still, you chose well. Keeping high pool friendly is crucial to our plans for Arizona.